Alright y'all, so it's Sunday morning and uh, I'm going over here to one of my neighbors. she got a swimming pool and she got rock all around it and she's wanting to get rid of the rock and put grass there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I told her I'd bring the skid steer over here and, uh, you know, try to pull the rock back, you know. Uh, so we'll see how good all this goes. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of tight quarters, you know, but, uh, we can definitely, I can definitely, you know, do it. So, so here's the house. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some video over here. Uh, and, uh, we'll try to figure out exactly how to do this. Cause I really don't even know y'all. Uh, I, the quarter is real tight quarters. Uh, the ground probably going, you know, uh, and I don't have a tooth bucket with me, so uh, we're going to just try to drag it back and scoop it up, man. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go. We'll just have to see. Uh, I'll probably go and rip up that piece of stump. They got a piece of stump right there. I'll probably go and rip up. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, I'm probably not going to make full retail on this, you know, like I would uh, anybody, anybody else. She's a good friend of ours, of my wife and I's, and uh, all that there. So, we, uh, I'm going to give her a hand here. She had to pay a little something, but it won't be nothing like, you know, she covered my costs, man. That's all I really care about. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. So, it's Ray. Peace out, man. Okay, y'all. So... <laughs> Got a major issue here. So um, I pulled the skid steer off the uh, trailer. I bring it around here and it just goes dead, y'all. Right out here in the middle of the freaking road. And look what I see. This right here broke off. And I believe that all that's grounded. And we're gonna try, I just wanna get it out of the freaking road. That's what I'm saying. I got lucky. I got I got folks all over. I'm gonna make you a star, Robbie. I got folks all over, man. They're gonna help me down. Uh, get this thing up and running. I don't know what the deal is, but look, y'all. That's what happens when you try to when you get out here and you're trying to do work. Uh, you know, bitch. That's. I might have to buy the whole starter, man. Huh? Anyway, y'all, we're gonna try to. Zip tie. We done checked all the fuses. We're gonna try to zip tie this cylinder back on there and, and just to get it out of the freaking road, man. Here, I'm, I'm, I gotta put the camera down, man. I'll peace out, y'all. Damn, we got plenty of fuses everywhere. All right, y'all. So, y'all see, look at this. Uh, look at the scenario, y'all. <laughs> Ray's out here in the middle of the road with an 8,000 pound machine, can't move nothing. Y'all, how quick you can go to hell in a hand basket. So, I'm waiting on the tow truck driver now, man. Uh, kind of just wanted to do a little video here about my thought process here, you know, uh, it, well, with it being Sunday, you know, that, that's one thing to think about before I take on Sunday work again. <clears throat> uh, so the machine won't start, the machine won't do anything. Uh, it looks like the solenoid broke off of the top of the starter. So, uh. The ignition switch is not actually is there's not getting any power up front up to the front and i got i checked all the fuses uh i done done uh everything that i know to do uh i don't know i even turned the key on and bumped the solenoid and it and it's it's turning over but it ain't it ain't it ain't uh cranking uh, right now i feel uh totally uh defeated man uh and this is the trials and tribulations of being in the landscape business man you know uh and this this is elevated a little bit y'all because of the fact that it's such a you know it's a it's a it's such a heavy machine when you compare it to a lawnmower you know you know, for every video that I do, man, there's a there's another video like this. You know, we got I do the videos where things going good, happy go lucky, uh, you know, getting new equipment and uh, making good money every day and blah blah blah. And then there's videos like this, 
where my hands are tied, uh, the machine is broke down, uh, don't really know uh, what's going on with it, uh, got a tow truck driver coming. Uh, you gotta be thinking though, uh, if you're me in situations like this, uh, because you can find yourself, you know, paying a lot more money. So this is the, this is the scenario that I find myself in. Okay, it's Sunday, so my heavy equipment mechanic is closed. Uh, now my uh, I got a buddy that's a that's a mechanic, and they have a shop uh, right over here, about four miles from here. And he, but they work on cars and trucks, you know, and and they're pretty good mechanics. But you know, they don't, you know, they they. they they uh, they don't they pillow around with stuff like this, but nothing major. They don't do you know uh, major work to skid steers. So uh, I talked to him, and he's saying, well, you know, it's an electrical issue. It's going to be you know start a ceiling noise switch, you know. Uh, but I'm getting power everywhere. I just don't know where how I'm not getting power up to the up to the ignition switch. I have no idea. So. Uh, so my thinking is this, if I carry, if I, if the tow truck, I gotta get it out of the road, okay? That's the, the, everything's changed. As soon as it got hung up in the road, then all the, all my priorities changed from that point on. There's no, uh, uh, no work gonna be done today or nothing. Uh, if I got it fixed right now, if I fixed it right now and got it up on the trailer, I'm still going home with it. Uh, because I gotta know why it did that and make sure it don't happen again. Uh, uh, it's it's in a bad place you know uh from a standpoint of uh you know of uh, of it being in the way but it's in a great place from the standpoint of logistics of getting it up on a damn uh, tow truck so if my heavy equipment mechanic was open today i would just carry it straight over to him but again it's sunday so he's not open so i can't do that so the so if I carry, it, if I have the tow truck driver carry it to my house, well, I'm pretty much guaranteed to have to uh, pay another tow fee to get it over to my uh, to my uh, heavy equipment shop mechanic tomorrow or whenever. So what I'm gonna do is, since my my buddy's got a, a automobile truck shop right over here. He says that he might be able to fix it since, you know, since it, because it was running fine. I didn't have no warning lights or nothing. He says he could probably fix it, uh, or at least diagnose exactly what's wrong with it at his shop uh, tomorrow or the next day. So uh, if I carry it to his shop, which is right up the road, uh, then uh, he's gonna be, uh, he, 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 here's a 50-50 chance that he can get it up and running, you know. If he can't, then I'll have to have it towed on, or if it's gonna take him too long, too many days or, or whatever, then I'll have to have it towed on to the mechanic shop, to the uh, to the heavy equipment mechanic shop, which is about 10 miles from here, 15 miles from here. So, uh, that's kind of my thinking on all that. So I'm just trying to uh, get everything, stay out of the way of the road, make sure nobody hits the machine coming up and down the road. Uh, of course, it's Sunday morning. Everybody's in and out, going to church, to to and from. Uh, but if I carry it to my house, I'm guaranteed to have to pay another tow fee. Uh, I don't know, man. I could probably carry it to my house and take the damn starter off myself, you know. But I really, I really, I really don't want to work on the machine myself, man. Uh, I'm just saying because. If I work on it myself and I get the starter off and I get the, and I get the new starter on and then it still don't work or don't won't won't run for whatever reason, I might take to the shop anyway. So I've learned over the years sometimes you just go on and damn just bite the bullet and uh, uh, let the mechanics deal with it off the muscle from the very beginning. You know, that's my thinking. I got a truck pulling up to me right here, so I don't know if he's gonna stop or not. So you got to be thinking, you know, even you can't get, you know, I used to uh, back in the day when things like this would happen, you know, I used to get so uh, upset and discombobulated that I couldn't even think straight. But as I've gotten older, I'll, I've learned how to deal with all of that, how to 
how to, uh, you know, uh, not let it overtake my thought process. And, and then usually if it, if it does and you get real frustrated, of course I'm frustrated, but I'm, I'm able to think, you know, uh, about what I need to do. Uh, and that's just from, from experience of having, uh, machines that break down on me. Uh, you know, uh, though this is not a lawnmower, uh, it's a little bit more difficult and it's probably going to be a little bit more pricey to haul around than a lawnmower. See, another thing too, if this mechanic, if this tow truck driver pulls up here and he tells me, yeah, man, I can't do nothing with it. And you know, uh, you know, it's going to cost three or $400 to, to, to get it up on the flatbed or whatever, you know, then see, I'm going to have to pay that, you know, uh, going to have to, and I don't know what it's going to cost. I have no idea. He could come at me stupid and I'm going to have to pay it. Now there is a line that, uh, uh, that I that I probably won't uh, If he comes over here and tries to charge me five hundred dollars or some shit like that I'm not gonna he's he can just keep on riding man Because a lot of times these tow truck drivers y'all They'll see a situation like this where that machine's got to get out of the road and he knows that I don't have the means to get it out of the road But uh, he don't know Ray too well Because uh, it's gonna cost me that kind of money then uh, I'll go up somewhere and buy a damn, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll put cones around this thing and I'll go up and buy a damn 10,000 pound uh, winch and uh, uh, and I'll try to pull it up on the trailer of my damn self, you know. And I don't know if I can or can't, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll be very upset if they try to charge me. Uh, I think I, I I think you know at the most y'all and I might and I might be way higher or way or I might not even you know uh, I'm gonna be very uncomfortable paying more than three hundred dollars very uncomfortable I'm gonna be uncomfortable at three hundred but but three hundred is manageable and doable you know uh, given that it's Sunday and the location of the machine and uh, all that there you know uh, so. We're going to hope it don't cost that much, but if it does, it does, and that's what I'm going to do, you know. you got to take care of it, man. It's got to get out of the road, man. So, uh, and it's the kind of thing that you have to be thinking about, man, when you, when you, when you, when you uh, are out here working, man, you know, trying to work seven days a week, you know, just trying to get it all in during the summer months, man, you know. Uh, I'm very frustrated right now, uh, and but I want you guys to see that part of the business too. Uh, if I'm going to share the business and, and everything that the business is about and being out here in the mix, then you, it ain't all good, you know. Uh, it can be bad, and uh, you know, there ain't nothing I can do about it. You now know, another thing that would be really sweet, y'all. And I, it'd be worth, I'd pay for it too, uh, is for the tow truck driver to be able to put it on my trailer. You know, some of that, sometimes they have those beds that extend out, man. And if he could get it, uh, if he could get it on that trailer, man, that'd be just, just great. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's going to take us, that's going to take a, us uh, either, and I don't know. That's going to take either a special truck or a special skill set, you know, and we'll just kind of see what the guy, what the guy is talking about when he pulls up. Uh, but if he, if he's willing to try to get it on this trailer, you know, I'll give him extra money because then see, I don't have to take it off the trailer nowhere if it's, because whoever looks at it can look at it on the trailer, you know, and I can take it anywhere I need to take it. So, uh, number one goal is to try to get it on the trailer. Number two goal is to get it over to my mechanic shop. And, uh, and I'm going to do whatever the, uh, whatever the driver of the truck wants to do. Probably going to cost me the same either way. You know, if he has to haul it anywhere, it's going to, it's going to cost me. And if he has to take time to put it on this trailer, then it's going to cost me. I just don't know how, you know, the logistics of him putting it on, you know, my trailer, uh, or what that would take. So, uh, Either way, uh, today's Sunday, so I'm not going to get it fixed today. So I'm not going to make any money today, and it's sucking up my whole morning.
and I'm very frustrated right now because I done been under it, over it. I done took the uh, everything off and uh, with my meter and checked all the fuses uh, and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> I just don't know enough about the machine still. But the more and more I have this machine, y'all, the more I'll realize I don't want to be a machine mechanic. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, ha I don't want to have to do, uh, I don't want to have to figure out the electrical on it because I'm afraid I'll mess something else up. These machines are kind of complicated if you're for, from, for, for somebody like me, you know, I'm good at a lot of things. And I can fix a lot of stuff. And I could probably, probably, you know, I'd say 60, 40 chance, I could probably figure out what's wrong with this thing. Uh, I just can't do it in the middle of the road, uh, you know, uh, when I don't have all my tools and stuff here. And I could run to the house and I get tools, but I'd be running back and forth all day. The main thing to me, and I don't know, maybe you guys can comment and let me know, uh, 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 what your thought process would be the main thing to me number one priority right here is to get it out of the road but if you're going to get it out of the road and put it on a truck you might as well take it to a truck to, to take it to a place that can possibly fix it you know if he can get it on my trailer man I'd, I, it, that'd be worth a hundred bucks to me you know And it don't matter how you get on that trailer. If you can get it on my trailer, man. <laughs> if you can get it on that trailer, man. Huh? So that thing will back way out. Would that way don't look? So look, would that thing back out way out? I'm going to break bread, man. Get up on the trailer, man. We'll figure it out, man. I'll go get some sand. <laughs> hey, man. He, hey, he said, he said he put it on there for a six-pack, dog. We, we good. Six pack, a six pack will get it, man. We done, man. All right, man. I'll buy y'all a 12 pack, man. <laughs> They got it on the damn trailer. I cannot believe y'all did that, dude. I'm very grateful, man. Yeah, we try. Hey, if you'll pull up some, I'll pick the ramps up and we can... Yeah, y'all. A little bit sketchy. But, uh, what's life without a little sketch, y'all? I'm a little happier than I was, y'all. I'm just saying. 
got one on one, got they all tools. Got these Sean bands. Sean, man, these boys right here knocked out of the park, man. Man. And look at here, y'all. This is on a freaking Sunday, man. A Sunday. Man, you can't get folks to even go to work on Sunday. One lie. For real. Hell to the year, y'all. Anyway, y'all, I'm fixing to pick the ramps up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to get up out of here, y'all. Uh, go down here to the bank and get these guys some money, man. They did great, man. When I told them I got it on my trailer, man. Uh, he's at, uh, so I told him I'd give them $200. You know, I think they charge buck fifty, and I'm gonna give him a, uh, no, he charged a hundred, and I told him I'd give him a hundred if he'd get it on my damn trailer. So, now I can just take it straight over to the dam, to the, uh, uh, mechanic. So, yeah, y'all. So, you know, hey. <laughs> Doing what I have to do, man. This is what you have to do, man. So, uh, yeah, I uh, got those guys paid. Uh, I was thinking that it was gonna cost me around three hundred dollars, you know. Uh, but uh, they were only gonna charge me a hundred bucks, man. But then when I told him, I said, "You get it on that," he said, "I'll get it up on that trailer for you." I said, you get it up on that trailer for me, I'll give you a, I'll give you two hundred dollars. He's like, okay, cool. So you know, uh, yeah, I'm all about, you know, uh, uh, those guys did a great job, and I'm all about, you know, paying for what you get, man. You know, I'm grateful that they were able to do it today. Uh, grateful to get me out of the freaking road over here, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I saved a hundred bucks at minimum. <laughs> So, yeah, I could have been a tightwad and just gave them $100. Yeah, I could have done that. But I don't like to do that, man, because I don't want nobody doing me like that. You know, these guys that came out here on a Sunday, and they got my machine uh, safely up on, a, up on a damn flatbed, and then they got it safely up on my trailer. Uh, dude, does it get any better than that? Is that not worth $200? Well, it is to me. That's the reality of it, y'all. I can't help it, you know. Uh, but uh, make no mistake, you know, I'll get it fixed. And, uh, and I know it's going to cost me some money. But, you know, that's why I make money and I don't spend my money crazy. You know, that's why I'm I damn smart with my money. Because I'm ready. I'm ready for, for something to break on it. I'm ready. Whatever. Whatever, man. The only way it could have come out better is me fixing the machine over there. This is the next best scenario, if you ask me. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll get some footage here of the machine and everything back on the trailer. And uh, peace out, y'all.